What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm actually sat in exactly the same spot as where we filmed the last 4GT video, but for some reason I decided we needed to up the ante with the setup. And now look, we've actually got like a proper little studio setup. Now we made this with Erwan and Kerwan who are behind me right now. Yes. Erwan and Kerwan, the most confusing thing ever. And I hope you guys like it. We're gonna try new kind of styles of videos through this, but uh, yeah, pretty fun. And uh, feels feels pretty homey, actually. This is, uh, this is at home. That's probably why it feels homey. Anyways, today, what we're gonna do, as you probably saw, is yesterday I put a video live showing the four options that I had for my Ford GT order. The custom line, cu uh, custom series, carbon series, heritage edition, and custom line. No, what is it called? Studio line. Those are four options for how I could spec out my Ford GT, and they also are gonna ask me, like, you know, different things about when I want the car, etc. So, I thought that I wanted to put the last video up before. Uh, kind of complete the everything to just see what your thoughts were and the overriding kind of theme was that the heritage edition is the one that everyone thinks that I should get which I agree with because I love the design which is convenient because often with cars that kind of arc back to classics often the spec won't work on the new body um, or the design is you know not to my taste the colors etc whereas this time uh, this new 2021 2022 heritage edition I am a huge fan of for some reason because it's such a wacky spec it shouldn't work but for some reason and it just kind of does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, and show you what it was like actually, you know, kind of going through the process of yeah, clicking on the buttons and getting everything done. So GT, choose preferences. Now that is the first step. So I don't know what happens when we press on this button. We need to wait for the internet to work. Okay, so you're brought to Ford GT production inquiry. Now at this point, you're thinking, fill in my name. We could put some random names, should I put Donald Trump? So this is me kind of completing it. Preferred timing, please indicate your preferred timing below. 2021 model year, 2022 model year, I'd like to order as soon as possible or no preference. Currently I'm down for a 2022 model year. Um, might as well put 2021, because if it comes earlier then the earlier the better probably. 2022 gives more time to save up because this is a huge investment. But yeah, I don't think I'd like to order ASAP is the right way to go. No preference. You're just, yeah, I mean, I do want to get it um, in 2021, ideally. So 2021, let's select 2021 model year, if possible. Currently, I'm down apparently for April 2022. So let's see how that goes. Right, please rank your preferences from the packages below. One being the most preferred, four being the least. Okay, so we've got custom series, oh, carbon series. Okay, so I'm pretty decided that Heritage Edition is the one that I want to have as my first choice. But between the three others, I'm not too sure. The studio collection is definitely very classy. It has little accents around the car. It reminds me a lot of my Lotus, which I quite like. Um, and and just makes me think of kind of what that car represented and I think those colors could maybe work really well So I like that. I also like the fact that apparently it's gonna be a very limited uh, Edition carbon series really cool, but I don't really see the massive difference between the carbon series and the custom series um, I mean you get carbon fiber stripes. So I'm actually not the biggest fan of carbon stripes um, Or of stripes altogether. I like it just like a clean look um, so yeah, but still there's a lot of carbon. So let's put custom series number four, because that's kind of the most, I guess, somewhat basic. If you can even call anything basic at this point. Carbon series, let's go number three, heritage edition number one, and studio collection number two. Yes, boys, you agree with that? I don't know, comment down below what you think. I think that's a pretty good compromise. Obviously, to be completely open with you, I doubt that I'll get um, my preferred choices because I am, I, you know, not probably high up in the priority list. I'm about 12 years old and I've got a far, far more modest collection than 95% of the people ordering this car. So I'd be very surprised if I managed to get my hands on a Heritage Edition because I think it's probably, you know, even just judging from the comments on my last video, probably the most in demand one. So yeah, I mean, and to be honest, it's a Ford GT. There's no bad, you know, scenario. So I don't really mind whichever one it is. So very happy with whatever comes my way. I guess that would be the one. I mean, even just putting custom series as number four just feels wrong because it's so sick. Yeah, anyways, that is that. So click submit, bish, bash, bosh, that is submitted. Thank you for your response. 
your preferences have been noted. The concierge team will notify you of the results by September 25th, 2020. So now we wait, and as soon as I get news, I'll either put it on my Instagram, which is gonna appear on the screen here, or I'll, uh, I'll post another video about it. However, whilst we're here, realistically, you know, if I don't get the, the Heritage Edition, we're gonna have to spec one of these. And there's a pretty decent uh, configurator on the for the 4 GT. So why don't we quickly pop in, have a little visit, shall we? Have a little goosey gander at the Ford GT configurator. Right, so here we are. We start with a white car. I'm not a huge fan of white cars in general. Um, it doesn't actually, yeah, it suits this car actually. The thing is, it's such an aggressive line. I'm not sure this initial photo is the best angle, to be honest, on, on the Ford GT. Let me know what you guys think. Right, what do we have? Shadow black, gloss black on these things looks so kind of mean. Ingot, 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 silver. Oh, oh, that looks super glossy and pretty. Liquid blue, this is the classic. This is kind of like the launch color, um, which also looks very nice. I like these, actually the rims they've already put as standard are very, very cool. Uh, liquid red, and this seems like an interesting option. Let's try this out. Oof. Oh, that is very cool. Boys. Come see. What do you think of this? Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, black is cool. Matte black? Matte black I'm not so sure about, to be honest. I think there's a bit much on this. It doesn't suit. Or it silver. Cool, yeah. Silver's cool. Dark gray. Dark gray. Ooh, dark gray is pretty mean. But red? Beautiful. Red? Very beautiful. Beautiful. Cheers, boys. Right. Now, do we go stripe or no stripe? This is the question. Stripe or no stripe? I'm thinking, okay, white stripe. White stripe looks cool, goes well with the red. Black stripe is a bit, is a bit mean. Oh, wait, let's change the angles. Oh, this angle's really sick from above. Let's try no stripe though. Mm. Yeah, I think it's better. I, I think it's cleaner and less obstructed. Um, no stripe, but I definitely see the kind of heritage and storyline behind the stripes. Oh, from above, the white stripe looks really cool, actually. Um, but I personally, I think no stripe is cleaner looking. And I think it also brings out the, the extremities and the angles around the extremities of the car better, rather than kind of pulling your eye towards the center of the car too much. Um, so I quite like it. I think it looks a bit cleaner. I like the way they've kind of put the tinted windows on this, because that's what I would do. Um, right, what do we have next? We have exteriors, front and side lower finishes. Shadow black, matte carbon fiber, gloss carbon fiber. Let's go gloss carbon fiber, thank you very much. Um, just because, I don't know, I'm not a, I prefer gloss carbon to carbon to matte carbon, which everyone has their own taste, to each their own. Personally, gloss carbon, I think looks quite good. Although I do see the appeal of getting matte carbon fibers kind of divide the bottom of the car um, and have matte around the bottom. It kind of makes the top stand out a bit. But I think that sometimes pulls your eye a bit too high up and makes the top, um, uh, you know, a little bit heavier and you notice the carbon a little bit less with matte and it just makes the car look a little bit higher up um, and less kind of down to the ground as if you have gloss carbon as well and it kind of completes the whole look and it's all more as one. So I personally prefer gloss carbon, but as I say, to each their own. Right, what we got now, this is where things get interesting. We have rims, okay, I, I'm thinking black rims, gloss black with titanium lug nuts. I mean, titanium lug nuts, I'm not too fussed about, to be honest. Ooh, that actually looks really good. Good, <laughs> good, looks really good. Usually, rule of thumb, um, what works best is having a gloss car matte wheels or a matte car with gloss wheels. This gloss on gloss, very American, US spec, but I actually think it looks great on this car. And I like this wheel design. They have, there's other wheel designs I think, um, but I can't find matte black rims. Right, let's see, ooh, carbon fiber, 20 inch as well. Gloss, matte carbon fiber with titanium lug nuts. That sounds very expensive, let's see how it looks. Carbon fiber wheels as well, like. Oh, it looks mean, but it looks a little bit too heavy, which is ironic because they're carbon fiber. But you know what I mean? A bit too beefy for my liking, actually. And the car, the gloss, and also, financially, 
these are probably going to be a lot more expensive than the other ones. And carbon rims, if anything happens, if you hit a pothole too hard, anything like that, change the rim. And I can imagine they don't cost a fiver. I imagine they're pretty expensive. So let's stick with the gloss black rims. Let's go interior. Now, you don't get many options with the interior. You basically have all black, dark blue, what looks like orange or white. And I actually think white you know, I'm not going to be daily driving this car, so who cares too much about getting it dirty? Um, there isn't white on the areas where you'd usually sit with jeans, so it makes sense. And I think that, whoa, this looks cool. Yes, you can't see it. Can you see it from the outside? No, you can't see the white interior from the outside. That's a little bit annoying. Red, black wheels, black and white interior. Bold spec, bold, but I think very cool. What's the last thing? Okay, series, so what we've got, Ford GT Competition Series, Ford GT 67 Heritage Edition, Race Red, Ford GT Heritage Edition, Shadow Black, Ford GT 66 Heritage Edition, Matte Black. Okay, so these are, okay, these are pre kind of loaded specs. I would rather have a, yeah, the, the, out of those specs, I'm not a huge, huge fan of those ones necessarily. I really like this full red. And black, yeah. Yes! I think that's pretty much the one. Let's see, you can go night vision. What does this do? Ooh, that doesn't look quite as good. That looks a little bit more matte than gloss. I prefer it, prefer it during the day. Um, looks, okay, I'm happy with that. Comment down below what you think, guys. If you like that spec, if you think it's a sacrilege not to have the stripes, if you would get the different wheels, what you think, and comment your specs down below. But that's it. I'll keep you posted. Apparently we'll have news before the 25th of September. I'll keep you posted on when the car is meant to arrive, what uh, edition I'll get, and uh, if this spec will come to life. I mean, this is something I've just done quickly without too much thought, and obviously without seeing the price list, which is going to have a huge effect, obviously, on how I spec the car. But um, yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I re I'm, I actually like get so much joy and I'm really enjoying sharing this process with you guys um, because it's so much fun. It's like a little dream come true to me. So being able to share it is just, it's really enjoyable. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to do that. And I hope you guys are doing well, first of all. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. And I'll see you again very so soon. What's happening to me? I can't speak. I'll be back with more news in the very near future. And we'll be using this studio, which is fun for new videos. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.